Are you at all optimistic that you're going to get some sort of compromise out of House Judiciary that will be um, acceptable to you? You've had someone in there. There already is a compromise that has been uh, put together because Andy Nunez's original bill said if you had a social security number was the only time you would receive a driver's license. We have compromised to allow foreign nationals to receive a driver's license if they're here on a work visa, a student visa, um, any kind of other legal document that would be used in lieu of your social security number. So we've already compromised. What I'm not willing to do is sign a bill into law that still provides either a driver's license or a driving permit to someone who is in this country illegally. What, what, uh, what do you think is going on with the House Judiciary? I mean, Al Park was saying <laughs> yesterday that there were some governor's representatives down there and they were all in conversation, but I don't know. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure what's going on behind the scenes. I can only tell you that um, if there are conversations, the conversations are just to continue to make it clear what I will not sign. I will not sign a bill that includes giving driver's licenses to illegal immigrants um, uh, and period. That, that's not going to be included in it. We can get tougher on our laws for using fraudulent documents. We can make sure that we give foreign nationals who are here legally a uh, driver's license. But all that other stuff that they're trying to throw in there that still provides a driver's license, I will not sign. Uh, you won't sign it? Nope. We've got <laughs> less than two weeks you know, to go into session. And if there isn't a vote on the driver's licenses or uh, you know, social promotion, some mm -hmm. of your other Initiatives. I mean, would you consider bringing legislators back for a special session? At well, some certainly. Point? Not. I mean, not for the driver's license. I will bring it up at every opportunity that I have. Absolutely. I think what's important is that these legislators need to understand what the New Mexicans want them to do. And there's an election around the corner, um, and everything that they do in this roundhouse, they're going to be held accountable back in their homes. And so, if there are uh, there's the education reform that people are demanding. They want to make sure that we don't keep throwing money at the same system, same status quo, and get nothing different. They want reform. They want to get out of being 48th in the nation. And so I want them to get the work done during this session. Let's stop wasting time and money. Get to work, work as many hours a day as possible, and let's do New Mexicans work every single day, not just when you know there's a, a committee hearing here and there and not enough time, and they take a break, et cetera, et cetera. So it sounds like you're not satisfied with uh, I guess it's been accomplished so far during this session. Well, I mean, some of it has been moving along, and I know it goes slow at the beginning. That's what I hear anyways, which is a little frustrating because, you know, two weeks go by and not a lot is getting done. And then the last two weeks, they just, you know, a lot of things happen. It would have been nice to that a lot of things happen in the entire four uh, <laughs> weeks, but, you know. You, know, you mentioned that this is an election year. Uh, you've got that pack out there. Have you decided maybe to target some uh, Democratic legislative leaders in the upcoming uh, no, there has not been any, there, I have not made any decisions in reference to the PAC because what I want right now is for those legislators that are here in office to listen to their constituents and start doing what they want them to do. If they start to do that, then they don't have anything to worry about because then they can go out and brag about their record too, about what they've done in favor of education, economic development, and the driver's license. But what if they don't do that? I think it's fair that the New Mexicans find out exactly what they did and didn't do and how they voted or didn't vote. Did they put kids first or did they put politics first? Did they put public safety first or politics first? What's fair is fair. You can't not be held accountable for what you do in this building. How would you answer people who say that you're playing politics as well? When I am supporting what 74% of New Mexicans want, which is a repeal of the driver's license law, how is that politics? It's policy. It is good policy to repeal that law. It's not politics. If I believe, as do most New Mexicans, that we can't keep throwing money at the status quo for education reform and think something different is going to happen, how is that politics? It's good policy to start targeting our dollars in a way that's going to turn New Mexico around from being 48th in the nation in education. It's easy to say it's politics. But if you really looked at it, is it good policy? Absolutely it is. Now, because you are voting in the wrong way or because you're not doing what your constituents want you to do, they call it whatever you want. But it's accountability, I think, at the end of the day. Do you think driver's license, the issue, is dead? It sounds like we know where you stand, we know where the Senate stands. It doesn't look like anything different is going to happen. Is it no, dead? I don't think it's dead. Absolutely not. I think that there, uh, we have people who are communicating with their legislators. We have folks from all over the state who are making sure that they're make, being made a part of this. We webcast every hearing so that they know what's being said and done. I will never uh, lose faith at the end of the day. Um, our elected officials are going to start to remember what New Mexico wants.
who or what committee are you hanging your hope on there? Because every, that's every a good step. line, but it, every uh, step. The judiciary will meet today, so I'm going to have to, you know, hope that they're going to do the right thing. And when it goes down to the House floor, I'm going to hope they're going to do the right thing. When it gets over to the Senate, same thing. I mean, there's a lot of time still, as they say. Uh, before the session's over. And so I'm hoping that they start to look at this as good policy, which is to repeal the driver's license law. You have hope uh, in the Senate? Sure. Really? Yeah. Hope I think there's. I think there has to be um, uh, some common sense that will come to the Senate that they get enough communication from people from the outside that they'll start listening. If not, at the end of the day, they'll help get held accountable.